So Paul writes this letter, at least in part, not only to clarify his teaching about Christ's return, but also to impress on them a very important truth. That if you know Jesus, you need never fear the darkness of death. It's a very important truth for you and for me as believers. Uh, the sleep of death is not unconsciousness. We are not unconscious when we die. The reference to sleep is simply a description of how a dead person appears. And in fact, the, the Bible in many places refers to death as a metaphor, really uh, for, and calls it sleep. Actually, sleep is a metaphor. And Paul emphasizes a similar truth in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 8, where he says, to be absent from the body is to be at home with the Lord. See, if you know Jesus, then you can, then you can experience the second step, which is a, what I would call a grief-transforming hope. Uh, look with me at verse 13 again. Notice what he says. Brothers and sisters... We do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind who have no hope. Paul says, in effect, we want your sorrow. He says, I want your sorrow to be seasoned with expectation. That's the meaning of hope. Hope, uh, the word hope that he uses there doesn't refer to wishful thinking. It's expectation. And it is it's very right and proper for us to grieve when we experience the death of a loved one because at its core, death is separation. It's separation of our essence, of who we are, from our physical body. Goes to, if you're a believer, it goes to Christ, right? It's also separation of the living from that loved one who has gone on. And when Paul writes about hope, as I mentioned before, it's not wishful thinking. It's more akin to confidence. And that confidence trans transforms grief. And the basis of that confidence is the reality that someone went before us and conquered death. So when your believing loved one dies, or when they die, you didn't lose them because you know exactly where they are. They are with the Lord. And when Jesus addressed the thief on the cross who had placed his trust in Jesus, remember he said, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom? What did Jesus tell him? Luke 23, 43. Truly I tell you, today you will be with me. So your body goes to dust, but your essence goes to him. And it'll be even better when you get your resurrection body. It'll be even better. But what you will get even between the moment of your death and your resurrection is better than what you know now. Now, that, that's, that's a state that we call, we refer to it as the intermediate state. That's before you get your resurrection body. But that'll be even better than what you know now. 